Look how fast this is. <laughs> that dual clutch is so snappy. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz Limited. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Murdoch Hyundai here in Linden, Utah for giving me some time with this Santa Cruz. Now, something that's really cool about the Murdoch Hyundai in Linden is they have this demo program going on where they have really hot models like the Santa Cruz and the Santa Fe and the Tucson and several other cars as demos that you can actually test drive before you put in your order so you can know what the vehicle looks like inside and out and actually take it out for a test drive so definitely give them a visit I'll also include a link to their inventory in the description down below and then on a side note if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well let's get into the video So under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 19 around town and then 27 on the highway with power outputs being 281 horsepower and then 311 pound feet of torque. I have seen several outlets get over 30 miles per gallon with this though, just saying. So let's go over the front end of the Santa Cruz. So first off, we have some really nice distinctive body lines here on the hood. Kind of hard to see with the white paint, but they still look great. It's easier to see in person though, I will say that. Now coming down below, I love the daytime running lights here. Again, hard to see here on camera, but the, they are all throughout the grill. It just looks really cool and it matches the rest of the grill from a design perspective. Got the camera below the Hyundai logo. We actually have a sensor right here at the bottom. Then you got the headlights here on this area with another daytime running light. There's lots of uh, lights here on the Santa Cruz. And yeah, overall, it's cool looking from a front end perspective. Coming around the side here, we've got two 45 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see from a design perspective with the wheel, you've got the silver on the top and then the black below it, which I think this is just such a cool looking wheel, especially on a little truck. And then you can see here with the front suspension, independent suspension up front. And then notice here with the fender flare, we have a little truck there at the top of it. Body painted mirrors, and then notice this has the rack here at the top so you could throw you know a little like tent case up there if you want so you could do some serious camping and everything with this and this also has the side steps added on and then taking a full step back uh, you guys can see unibody as well in terms of the construction and we'll talk about how that changes the driving dynamics a little bit later and last but not least let's show the rear suspension so you can see independent rear suspension as well so here's our key fob for the Santa Cruz. You guys can see we've got the lock function, the unlock, the drop down for the tailgate, and then the remote start function. Payload capacity of 1,411 pounds. Towing capacity is right around 5,000 pounds for this turbocharged engine. We have a really cool bed system. So first off, we have a ton of cover. Just click it that way, and then you can basically throw it uh, forward. And notice that this has like the extension thing that you can flip up. And then we also happen to have the uh, floor mats here on the back as well. And we also have some extra storage space here underneath, which I can't open because this thing is here. But anyways, it basically has a trunk back here, similar to like a Honda Ridgeline. And so yeah, just tons of practicality built into this setup. And lifting this up, it's super light. Uh, now, there is like a little thing attached, but I mean, also you can just like come here to the side and reach over. Like it's such a short bed. You can just kind of like pull it back yourself and well, there you go. Now finishing things up with the rest of the rear, you can see here with the taillights, the design on it. And then notice our H-Track 2.5 T badge down below. And then notice we have the bumper steps on either side and then receiver hitch here at the bottom. And so, you know, so far, right? From an exterior perspective, it's got a truck bed, right? It's not massive, but again, this is not a massive vehicle and you know it's looking like a truck now here's the door panel in the rear notice we've got like this kind of cloth trim here at the top and then padding down below i think it looks great and then notice the black trim here around the cup holder and then here are the seats again notice it's perforated here in the center portion and down below we've got the side step which helps out with getting in space back here is great notice we have this little like cargo net here a couple vents usbs and then see the under seat storage area and then you can open up this uh, window here from the rear as well if you want let's head to the front now here is the front door panel you can see again with the 
trim piece here at the top, blind spot mounting for the mirrors, and then notice the cloth trim down below and then the padding down below there. All the blacked out trim here with all of our window controls, mirror adjustments, then here's the front seat again. Notice perforated here in the center. Seats look really nice. Got the power adjustments there on the side. Pedal layout down below. And then notice here for the uh, light for the truck bed. And then you can see stability control. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. Let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel for the Santa Cruz. Again, really nice from a material standpoint. Notice the stitching here on the center is dark to match the steering wheel. We do have adaptive cruise control and steering assistance, so basically it can drive itself, right? Paddle shifters there on the back for that dual clutch. And then notice we've got like our voice command, phone controls, volume controls, turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock. And notice they actually look really nice from a finish perspective. And there you go. Here's the center gauge cluster. It's a full digital gauge cluster. I think it looks fantastic. Now, so I can scroll through a couple different menus to see different bits of info here on the Santa Cruz and what's happening. We do have a bunch of different drive modes that we can go between as well. So, notice we have a snow, smart, sport, which actually changes it, makes it red and aggressive than normal. And so, most of the time, you're probably going to spend in normal mode. But yeah, it's cool that you have all those different modes you can go between. Now here's the infotainment system. First off, if we uh, pop it into reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then notice the different camera viewpoints here out the side as well. So really solid from a camera perspective. I mean, again, this is not a huge vehicle and so you really don't need this like crazy 360 view, but it's cool that it has it. Notice the navigation screen here in the center as well. And you can see response time here at the screen. I mean, it is like instantaneous. It's uh, pretty crazy just how quick uh, the response is. But notice we can go back to the home screen here. And again, you can see sliding backwards and forwards, pretty easy uh, to use. And I love how like all Hyundais, Kias and Genesis's, it's always weird to say Genesis's. Anyways, have a valet mode with them. I think that's pretty cool. And it's just right there on the infotainment system. But anyways, there you go. Analog controls for the infotainment system down below. We got our climate controls, dual zone climate system. And then notice here with the USBs, 12 volt, we've got the shifter here for that eight speed automatic transmission. Center locker here, uh, this basically just makes it so that the power distribution front to rear is equal so you get better grip and you know, sketchy conditions like snow and off-road. Hill descent control, got that for the camera system, auto hold, parking brake, and then again the drive mode select, a couple cup holders. You got your controls here for the heated cooled seats, heated steering wheel, and then notice with the center console setup, and see here with the padding and stitching, and then notice on the dash as well, you can see there with that, how it looks kind of cool, it all connects together. I don't know, I like stuff like that. Glove box, pretty normal. And then, popping up top, we've got our sunroof here. You can see the rack there at the top. <laughs> and control for the sunroof, there's your mirror. Window sticker, so first off, warranty information. We have a five year 60,000 mile on the basic warranty and then a 10 year 100,000 mile on the powertrain. That's better than most other truck makers. And then you can see here. And then notice with the added features, there's not really anything because everything's standard. So total MSRP, $40,905. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood. Both the mirrors, again, they do have blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. The only thing that's cool is when you go from reverse to drive, it'll just pop the front camera on so that it helps out with getting into like a tight parking space or something. I think that's kind of a cool little feature. But anyways, first off, I own two pickup trucks currently. So I feel like I am qualified to discuss whether or not this is a real truck, right? I feel like, I feel like I've, I've got the qualifications. I own two pickup trucks and I review tons and tons of trucks on the channel. So here's the deal. Yes, this is unibody. It's not body on frame like most trucks. And also turn signal camera. That's a nice bit of uh, safety tech. It's in other Hyundais, but it's cool. Uh, so first off, the benefit of being unibody is this is so much more comfortable on road from a ride quality perspective, right? It's, it's just this, the ride is so smooth and handling is amazing too. Like this has a truck bed behind it, but it handles so well. Like, I, I just feel like I'm zipping around in like a little SUV, which is cool. I like it, uh, but you know, it is a little bit lower to the ground. Some people might not like that. I'm okay with it though, because uh, frankly, 
Like the seating position is high enough that like I've got great visibility. Like I don't need anything else. I don't need to feel like I'm towering over everyone. And then on top of that, with this turbocharged powertrain and the dual clutch, as you can see, we're slowing down quite a bit. Don't worry, we don't have anyone behind us really. <laughs> it is quick. It just rockets out. It's so quick. It's crazy how quick this is for a little uh, pickup truck. Seat comfort's great. Hey, there's the new uh, Lexus LX600. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot uh, to love about this from, you know, just a daily driver perspective. And because of the smaller size, right, it fits into parking spaces, it fits in parking garages, like maneuverability is great. Like there's, there's a lot to it. And on top of having great maneuverability, right, you don't have to worry about it fitting in your garage, right? Most pickup trucks, you go and buy it and you're like, oh, got to do all the measurements, make sure it, it fits. Look how fast this is. <laughs> that dual clutch is so snappy. Um, yeah, th there's a there's a lot to love about it. And then it gets great fuel economy, which, you know, when gas is well over $4 a gallon, that also is, you know, super important uh, in today's world. So here's what I have to say is, I consider this a truck because if it looks like a truck and, you know, even though it doesn't necessarily drive like most traditional trucks, but it still, does truck stuff then it's it's a truck okay so there's that let's get out that other way now who should buy this i think that if you just want you know a vehicle that gets great fuel economy that is easy to drive around town fits in places right and on top of that right on top of getting great fuel economy fitting in places is you know more affordable because this is forty thousand dollars fully loaded okay and you know, still does truck stuff, right? It has a truck bed. You can still, like you can take this on camping adventures if you want. You can load up the bed. It's not a huge bed, but you know, it's got decent payload capacity and it can tow stuff. So you could basically just do a trailer and load that up quite a bit. So the point that I'm trying to make is you can do all the truck stuff with this. And then on top of that, it gets great fuel economy and it's a very manageable size. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this Santa Cruz. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Murdoch Hyundai here in Linden, Utah for giving me some time with the Santa Cruz. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I'll see all of you in the next video.